Okay, here we're asked to find the inflection points for f of x equals x squared e to the 8x. We're going to start by taking the derivative. So f prime of x, well this is a product. So it's going to be the derivative of the first, which is 2x, times the second, then plus the derivative of the second, which would be e to the 8x, and then you have to use a chain rule, multiply by the derivative of this exponent. Derivative of 8x is 8, and then multiply by the first. To make this a little neater, this is 2x, e to the 8x plus 8x squared e to the 8x. And I'm going to go ahead and put, write the second one, highlight it in blue. Actually, that's confusing, so. Just write it out in blue. 8x squared e to the 8x. All right, because we're going to take the second derivative. So we're going to do each piece. The first part will be in yellow, the second in blue. Apply the product rule. Derivative of the first is 2. Then multiply by the second. And you're going to add the derivative of the second, which we know now is 8e to the 8x, times the first. Then we're going to add the stuff in blue using the product rule again. Take the derivative. Derivative of 8x squared would be 16x times the second. Then plus the derivative of the second, we know is 8e to the 8x, times the first. Clean it up. So this is equal to 2e to the 8x plus 16xe to the 8x. And we have another 16x e to the 8x, then plus 64x squared e to the 8x. Combining like terms, you get 2e to the 8x plus 32x e to the 8x, because these two combine, then plus 64x squared e to the 8x. All right, so we have our second derivative, and it's all cleaned up. Now what we need to do is take that second derivative and set it equal to zero and solve. Okay. First, take out any common factor. You can take out a 2e to the 8x, and you're left with 1 plus 16x plus 32x squared. You have a product that equals 0, so 1 or both equals 0. So you set each part equal to 0. I'm going to switch the second part around a little bit. I'm going to put it in descending order. So 32x squared plus 16x plus 1 equals 0. Well, there's nothing you can plug in x for 2e to the 8x to make it 0. So this one is a no solution. But this one, 32x squared plus 16x plus 1, you can put in your graphing calculator your quadratic formula program, or just use a quadratic formula. And when you do that, you should come up with two answers. x equals 
negative 0 0.073 or x equals negative 0.426.